I did not want to pay $12 to $15 per stepping stone at a big box store. So I made these stepping stones for about $2 each. I started with these grocery store half sheet cake pans that come with a pan and a lid, which allowed me to make two different design stones. I also used a can of cooking spray one 6x6 tile for each stone made from the cake pan part of the set, one bag of quick crepe mortar for about every three to four stones, and a piece of chicken wire for supporting the middle of each stone. To mix the mortar, it really is easiest to put a bag or two into a wheelbarrow, add a little bit of water at a time, and just keep mixing it until it's the right consistency. Definitely wear gloves because this mortar can burn your hands. Because the mortar takes a little while to dry, you have plenty of time to work with, the, with what you have. For the stones with the tile in the middle, the aluminum pans, you want to spray them before you put the tile in because you want the tile to stick to the stone. You don't want to get cooking spray on this tile. Then you're going to place the tiles upside down in the center of each pan. The stones I made with the cake pan lids, I used random leaves from my garden to make an impression in the cement. I found it helpful to, just for a few minutes, kind of flatten the leaves with books. Place the leaves upside down in the middle of the lid with the veiny side up, so that's where the impression gets made into the cement. You wanna do this before you spray with the cooking spray because you wanna spray the back of the leaves with spray because you want the leaves to come off of the cement, unlike the tile that you want it to stick to the cement. Then you're gonna gently fill each pan with a little bit of mortar about halfway up and after you get halfway, you're going to put the piece of chicken wire in between and then finish off the mortar. For putting the mortar on the leaves, I found it helpful to kind of drop mortar crumbly on top of the leaves to prevent them from slipping because they're going to want to slip around with all of that cooking spray on there. Don't forget to put your piece of chicken wire in the middle. And I found that the method of putting crumbled pieces of mortar on top of the chicken wire to hold it down also helps before you start patting the mortar in. And once I get all my pans filled, I'm just gonna let them sit for about a day and a half. I let these dry for about a day and a half. And then just carefully flip them over. And these can be reused if you just clean them. They might be a little less nice each time, but um, I've used them two or three times. And then I just chisel away any extra concrete around my tile. Gonna let this, um, you know, this is still a little damp, it feels damp, so I'm just gonna let it air out and dry. For the ones with the leaf, it's a little harder to get them out because you don't want to break the plastic if you want to reuse them, which I did just crack that one. And when you pick them out, be gentle, but also don't be afraid to scrape a little bit. Sometimes the leaves kind of fold into the cement and they get in there pretty deep. So I used a spackling knife to kind of um, scrape away at it.
Once you have all the leaves picked out of your stones and they're nice and clean, um, you're ready to put a little color on them if you want. Um, they don't have to be totally dry. It's actually okay to have them be still damp or wet um, because uh, you want the paint to kind of ooze into the indents. Um, I actually have my paint super watered down, like really watered down. It's like very runny. Um, I'm using a combination of um, two colors. One is Clary Sage from, from uh, Sharon Williams and it's just sample grade cheap. I just happen to have it in the basement. Um, and then I'm also using, and not, not only mixed together in one thing, and then I'm also using uh, Mindful Gray, which is another um, Sherwin Williams color, and they're both sample grade. See how it just runs right into the leaves? Once the paint was dry, I sealed them. Maybe a little bit redundant, but I used both the Tile Stone and Grout Sealer and a polyurethane, and they look super nice. A couple tips on laying your stones. Dig a nice flat spot for your stone because you don't want it to wiggle or it will crack when someone steps on it. Put your stone in, and then you're gonna backfill around the stone and really let that dirt settle in underneath a stone. And that's it. Happy stepping. Thanks for watching.